Hi friends, good evening. Today it is 20, 11, 2022 and the time is 8 o'clock and uh, Friday. What a move in Kodak Bank in the morning and uh, beautiful move. On last two days, our dark horse was literally like a racers. Okay, and suddenly it went to uh, 1970s, 1976 and from there 1990 and from there it fell. Nothing to worry about it. We can simply hold on to that and uh, uh, our timing on Friday, which is 1.55 to 2, what a mitral, you know, miracle it has done it. And uh, thanks to market for doing all this and pranam to market for all doing this. And again, last week forecast, I clearly mentioned based on Ichimoku, the one week, maybe the another week also will be a sideways movement only because the cloud is very, very flat. And I don't want to go very deep into that, uh, you know, chart and say price action and all that or uh, how chart is looking and all that because we have already covered everything in very detail uh, in our webinar. So now it is only numbers. Now we'll talk about only numbers and time. Okay, now let's go and watch. Okay, so this is my WhatsApp group. Okay, so now uh, if you go here, uh, any move in Bank Nifty will be led by dark cards, 931. What a move from here, 40 points. Excellent. Okay, so now listen to this. So this is our game changer number for the expiry. Game changer number for the expiry. So Nifty has to close above this number at least for 15 minutes for this expiry. And this number was given to you on Friday morning at 9.15. Okay. And exactly Nifty closed at this number only. 18,305. 18,000. 305 and bank nifty has not closed above 42,365. So it will become bullish for this expiry only if it crosses and closes above this number. Okay. And below this number is bearish, but it closed above this number. Okay. So this is the number which we gave to you, which I gave to you at 9.17 a.m. on uh, Friday. And this number holds for the whole expiry monthly expired okay so use it and uh, let's go to uh, stop share let's go to uh, just a minute okay one more thing and uh, in today's webinar we discussed about three major companies where it is having uh, make her break level so I've given the date, this is the for Tata came, the, this is the future date which you need to watch, which is uh, 1911, 1911 today, uh, yesterday, 1911 is holiday. So you need to watch this 915 to 1015 candle in Tata came on Monday, on Monday. And other based on the magical one number, uh, sorry, one hour magical candle, I've already given all these numbers, kindly use this number and trade accordingly okay suppose if it is trading above 37773 if it any candle holds above 15 minutes above this number see, once again it retraces back to 37773 sorry 3773 kindly buy with a stop loss of 3742 you can give minimum 2 rupees downside okay so and enjoy the show enjoy the show so now tomorrow watch out for tata kim 9.15 to 10.15 candle based on that take the position based on that take the position and if you go to nifty this was our timing 155 to 2 and we predicted this timing on thursday night and market from all the way came down from here it came down again went up came down exactly the bottom happened on the timing and for this small candle of eight points it has given roughly around 120 points. But where it went and touched? Where it went and touched? Exactly it closed at 18,000. That is where it closed. And we predicted the number in the morning itself. We predicted the number in the morning itself. So morning it came down. Below that it came down. Exactly took the support from the uh, timing candle and went up and closed exactly there. Exactly there. Okay. So now uh, no chart, state away numbers. Okay. So now uh, I don't know how to bring all these down. Uh, anyway, shall I? 
Okay. Now first starts from the down. Okay. So now tomorrow trend change date stock is CUB and Bharat Forge. We already covered CUB in Bharat and Bharat Forge in our uh, webinar. So <clears throat> you know how to trade the CUB and Bharat Forge. Those who are following me for a very long time, so they they know how to trade CUB and Bharat Forge on a trend change date on intraday. On a trend change date on intraday. Okay. So now uh, this is for uh, uh, tomorrow and 23rd is Metropolis, 23rd is again Sipla, 23rd is Idea, 23rd is Jubilee Food. So kindly have a watch, even Navin Floor. Watch out for Navin Floor. And on Monday, on, on Friday, it gave a phenomenal move. No? So if you go here, it gave 4% move based on the number. And it had a trend change date. So phenomenal move on Navin Floor on Friday. So now, uh, okay, so this is done, stock is done, and uh, this is for intraday number for tomorrow, intraday number for tomorrow. And this is the weekly number for this week, weekly number for this week, spot, stop loss, 144 points, stop loss, 144 points. And based on this, only this number is bearish. Only this number is bearish. Rest all is bullish. Rest all is bullish. Okay, this is future. This is future. So how to trade this? If it not able to move above this number, if it is not able to move above this number and hold this number for not more than 15 minutes, then be a little careful on magnet. But if it closes above and 15 minutes on a closing basis, Again, when it touches, simply by keep the stop loss of this one or keep the stop loss of this one. Better to keep the stop loss of this one. Unless and until if the bank nifty future doesn't close below 42,425, nothing to worry about bank nifty for this week. Finished. Only one number, game over. Okay. <laughs> and if you see here, our monthly number is 41,416. It is already given roughly around 1,000 points already. But normally in a month, it gives 3,000 points. But this month, there is no movement. But touch wood, we have another 10 more days to go. Let's see how this number is going to work. So based, this is the number you are going to watch out for this monthly expiry. Above this number is bullish. Below this number is bearish. Katham. 42425. Four, Finished. Okay. So now let's go to Nifty. Now, Nifty is in a critical stage. So now, based on the one magic number for the expiry, for the November expiry, it is already given you roughly around 750 points. Okay. But here, this week, it has become red. So now, as I already told you, whenever three numbers become bearish, you need to be very, very careful in Nifty or Bank Nifty. So now, tomorrow, in case if the market goes up, these two numbers will act as a major, major resistance. Major, major resistance. Okay. Close above this number for 15 minutes. If it comes again and touches this number or this number, the difference is only hardly six points. Okay. You can keep a stop loss of 54 points, which I mentioned here, or keep this as a stop loss and run the show. If it breaks this number, and if it is not, if it breaks this number, simply go short, keeping a stop loss of this number or this number. So then where is the support? The first support is here. That's all. Okay. This is in future. So now, bank nifty, the bigger numbers are in minus. Sorry, in nifty, the bigger number are in minus. So kindly have a watch. So now it has to close above this number. It has to close above this number. This is future. Now, let's go to another one. Okay, numbers I've already discussed. Uh, again, uh, metal stock to watch on fifth from fifth because of the Mars effect, it is already doing well. And uh, these are our combo stocks doing well. And uh, what else? Uh, metal sector, this IT sector. Uh, okay, so now we already covered this. So now let's go here. So Astro talk, it is already here. So kindly have a watch. Kindly have a watch. And the crypto was literally, literally rocking after fifth. What a fall. Okay, I've I've made a video on crypto. Kindly go and watch that video on crypto. Okay, so now let's go to the next page. Okay, coming to the important page. Now, if you see here, 
November 21st is the important trend change date for Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. But Bank Nifty is having two dates combining on 21st November. So kindly have a watch. 15 minutes high and low will do the magic. 15 minutes high and low will do the magic in Bank Nifty. Suddenly, if the market is going down, don't try to short Bank Nifty, short Nifty because Nifty is already weak. Okay, because Nifty is not able to move above 16th November high, which is our major astro day. And the high made exactly on 16th. And the high made exactly on 16th. So, if the market is moving down, don't try to short bank Nifty, short Nifty. If the market is moving up, don't try to buy Nifty, buy bank Nifty. Okay, buy bank Nifty. Okay, so now, uh, this I have already explained last week itself. So, it has not closed uh, above, uh, you know, my number. So kindly be a little bit careful. This is my number. Last week, uh, it has not closed above this number. And this, this is the number which I gave last week. It is not able to close above this number. So be little cautious in Nifty. But based on fortune signals, everything is looking good. Nothing to worry about it. From 17,352 till now, there is no sell in 15 minutes. And from Bank Nifty, from 39,560, to 42,000, there is no sell. There is no sell in 15 minutes. I've already showed this in my webinar. So no need to worry about it. And once any, if I get a 15 minute genuine sell in Bank Nifty or Nifty, I will exit my positions. I will exit my positions. Okay. So now uh, 21st, I've already explained and this is the timing for tomorrow. This is the timing for tomorrow. Kindly have a watch uh, for Nifty and Bank Nifty separately have given. But in this case, what it happened is the last Friday closing, it says 3.25 to 3.30 p.m. of Friday is very important based on timing. And 3.20 to 3.25 p.m. of Bank Nifty, Friday, uh, Friday candle will have a say. So kindly have a watch. And for Monday timing is this one for Nifty and Monday timing for Bank Nifty is this one. That's all. Okay. More or less, this number is. Oh, sorry. It is 1050. Okay. It is 1050. So now watch it. And stocks in our radar MM, Asia, and Tata Motors, uh, Tata Cap. And I've already given the number in the opening of the presentation itself. So now let's go here. So based on this number, based on this number, this two number is enough for you to trade this expiry fully. You don't need any other thing. Just this two number is enough for you. Okay. Above this number, simply buy stop loss this number. Below this number, simply sell stop loss this number. If you want to use option strategies, once it becomes, once it goes below this number, kindly go and sell 18,400 call and sleep. Okay. So now, Bank Nifty, it has to close above this number. Once it close above this number, kindly go and sell this, this uh, put. Okay. Otherwise, I'm always a buyer. So, in case if it closes above, I will buy. My stop loss is 144 points. 144 points. So, again, tomorrow, once the market opens, I will give this number to trade. Weekly game changer number from 21st to 25th. In at 9.15 itself, that number is enough for us to trade the coming week. But since it is an expiry monthly expiry, we will concentrate on the expiry numbers. We will concentrate on the expiry numbers because this is monthly expiry. Okay. So, we'll do that. And uh, if you go here, um, all the dates are already mentioned. I have already uh, given the high and low of that date also. So tomorrow, as we predicted, tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow is the day. November 21st. That's all. Nothing more to add in this uh, webinar because last month nothing happened uh, in market. So let's see whether we are going to do at least 1,500 points in Nifty and Bank Nifty. Sorry, Nifty. Uh, that is what I'm expecting. It may be on the upside or it may be on the downside uh, based on uh, trend line and other stuff. But we are able to... Uh, forecast which one hour candle is going to do wonder in Nifty and Bank Nifty in our webinar itself. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's play the market. Let's God be with us to make some money out of it the next week on the monthly expiry. Thanks a lot for seeing my video. Again, saying I'm not a semi risk investment advisor. So kindly go and do your homework or consult your financial advisors 
before taking any financial decision. See you soon tomorrow at 9.07. Bye. Good night.